Hey guys, Oni here. With Root Negative, and let's get cracking with another Factoria multiplayer episode. We just had speed module research uh, completed. I know you've wanted them, Oni. I, I want the yep. um, I want the efficiency modules actually. Okay, let's go for that next then. There you go. Anything that uh, knocks a bit of um, you know, we have some big power requirements right now. Like the seventy-five miners are, are drawing four point six megawatts. Or MJ, oh, not MJs. MJs. <laughs> MWs. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. As you were saying. Anyway, let's move right along and let's get cracking. Uh, research is going well. Efficiency modules are on the way. Oh, that's right. You're up here doing this. Okay, I'm going to get some fast inserters. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to work on that automated factory build. Okay. That I was going to do probably three episodes ago now. <laughs> 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 I got sidetracked again, man. It's horrible. Oh, dang. I forgot that these things need a... These are on the network, so I gotta build another robo port. So I need iron, so. Okay, what does factory engines need? Gear wheels, plate, and electronic circuits. Doesn't sound too hard? No, it's not too hard. I just need to get the routing. Uh, completed. That's that's the tricky bit. Why aren't you? Why is, oh, this thing is not exporting because why? Did you take some of the substations and put them in the network somewhere? Yep. Okay, that's why this thing's not exporting. Okay. They'll be sitting down uh, down in a storage chest somewhere. All right. Just making sure I'm not going crazy. No, you're not going crazy. Alright, so let's put this, uh... Actually, do you already have power? You already have power, sweet. And I need to... also give you iron, so... I'm gonna start boxing up iron in a, in a passive provider chest. Yep. Just set a logistics condition on it. Yep. Oh, I'm going to do like 200 or so. Alright, so when iron is less than 200. Jeez, that wall up there is still getting hammered. Yeah, luckily they can rebuild it though now, so. Oh, there's your uh, 50 module. Brilliant. Actually, I'll just do this. Oops, not that. I just picked up a robot, robot by accident. Go back down. Let's see, I want to keep, let's see, 200 accumulators, as we said. Let me start making these speed modules too. Whoops, not a shotgun. Jeez, how to do that? So you need red circuits and green circuits. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the productivity module next. All right, sounds good. Because I want to be able to boost our production of red circuits because I, I don't want to start peeling off so much red circuitry that, you know, the blue science pack starts to suffer. Okay, so assembler. And you're, you're putting those green circuits into a provider chest, right? Yeah. Okay. 
They're all going into a provided chest right now. Okay. So, request a chest. I need green circuits. Uh oh. Uh, out there, there's no. Uh, oh, right. Ah, uh, damn. We don't have to go out there. I think it's okay. Yeah, for right now it's okay. I mean, eventually we can just put our own, our own like, sub network up there that focuses on itself instead of having to connect it up to this one. So, you're gonna make uh, speed modules. Level one. Okay, and... We export them and we have less than SA-20. Spamming down those accumulators still? Yeah, well, they're all. I spammed them down as much as I could, but uh, they're just catching up now. Okay. Sweet. Now I'm just going to set up some network conditions on the factories. So I'm going to have 10 blue ones and 3 level 1s in the system. Sounds good to me. Uh, when we start making the uh, processing units, the blue circuits, mm -hmm. you might want to consider upping our production of red circuits. Oh, yeah. Give me this. Of course, the downside to the productivity module is that it boosts your, your, your pollution levels by, like, Mm -hmm. A lot. Yeah. It does kick it up quite a bit. Although, looking at our power situation, we do have plenty of power now with those solar panels. Let's have a look. Okay. Eventually, are we going to go all solar, or are we going to have the steam as a backup? Uh, no, we'll have steam as a backup, I reckon. Okay. So we can't get any more of the robot speeder cargo because we don't have any purple science packs. We can get the next level for our laser turret speed and damage though. Or we can even get the uh, basic modular armor. Ooh. Yeah, let's get some mil military stuff going. So, armor crafting three? Yeah. Alright. That would... Uh... That would be good. Okay, so both accumulator assemblers have two speed modules in them each. They're going at 1.05 now. Mm -hmm. But from the looks of it, you have all your requests fulfilled already, so they'll just stack up now. So... Do we want to, I mean, we're okay for copper for right now. With that upgrade we did. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about copper for a while. It is short in some places. In some places, yes. Actually, yeah, I'm looking over here now. The majority of it's being peeled off to go to your Uber circuit production. Yep, that's what I mean. Uh... Okay, so... Uh, there's not a lot of room over here to do what you did with the steel or the iron. Hmm. So you're talking about the circuits, what I want to do is come down and I'll just set some limits up. So right now that's running unhinged and that's probably too oh, much. Oh, okay. Look, we have how much in the system? 2.2 thousand? Yeah, that's quite a bit. Uh, just looking over everything. Yeah, we have lots of good stuff. 
So what we could do with the copper situation is that you can also you can put a limit on what you're doing over there. But we could also I'm gonna upgrade these lines that are coming out because they're getting they're getting too uh come too uh what you call it saturated before it gets to the last furnace and the furnace can't output. Yep. It does happen a bit. Grab some of these fast conveyor belts. And I thought you said limit on this thing. Which one, sorry? This, this, this network thing's not working. It's like it totally making an infinite number of... Uh... Oh, no. That's because I set it to be a red box. And not a red transport oh. belt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, uh, I'm today? smart. <laughs> oh, dear. It's a, it's a kind of mistake. They're both red. Can't even say I'm colorblind because it was the right color. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that is not good. See what you're doing to me? It's your fault. Yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> I'm such a noob that I'm rubbing off on you. <laughs> oh no, that was just a just I an know. out and out mistake there. All right, so uh, this would probably help if I actually upgraded this splitter to a fast one. Robot situation is looking okay. How's our power situation? Very good, actually. Excellent. We can even handle these spikes, too, without a problem. I'm just trying to think about how I would fix the copper situation. Because, like, er every idea I have, I figured... You know. oh, we just need more more smelting. Which probably yeah. is long the short of it. Just gotta figure out where we're gonna put it, though. Because... There's not a lot of room down here. We could have put it... I mean, technically, we could put it below the iron. Second, the second tier of uh, smelting. Where we can put it, like, right in this area over here. Yeah. Better put. Just here. Alright. So, I already have about 10 steel furnaces that I made when I thought I was doing that upgrade, and you did it anyway. <laughs> I have nine more miners, too, so. All depends on how you want to approach this. I could probably just mimic the setup you have over here, down here. Yep, that sounds good. I'm auto-saving it. Ooh. Come on. Come on. <laughs> good, good game. Come on. Come on, you can do it. And have been running so smooth. Yeah, it was been great. What the heck happened? Well, while I'm doing this, um, do you want me to split off? Or, I, I mean, I have nine miners to put down. Do you want me to leave the current miners how they are and just make a new miner line? Uh, well, really, it needs to be balanced so that when it comes out, um, what it does is it, it balances itself. So, you know, if one line has an excess, it can actually move on to the, the next one. Okay. If that makes sense. It does make sense, yeah. I see what you're saying. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, well, that's back. better now. Okay. So, let's see. Let me put down these miners. I mean, it's okay to put down these miners, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, that's not going to fit there. It could fit. It could fit. Alright. You know one nice thing about multiplayer? I don't feel rushed all the time. No, oh, yeah, not at all. It's just like, yep, Oni's got it. <laughs> I can kick <laughs> back. Get back. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Get back and relax. So when you say you want it to be balanced so it can pick one or the other depending on what the current load is. So if you come up here for a second. Yeah, I'm away. So I added like nine miners right here. 
below the current line, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so basically you want to be like, if the top li the top area of furnace is just full, go to the bottom there. Yeah. So to set that up, I would uh, probably just use a splitter and Now do you think? Teach, teach me, oh wise one. No, you got it from here. So, uh, is this right? So it has to come into a central spot, and then it has to go <laughs> out from there. Ah, yes. Yeah, so split it right there will work. Where you can either split upwards or downwards. Ooh, okay, oh, sweet. So I really want to get the legs. But those need solar panels, so can we get that next? Yeah, sure. That sounds good. All right. So you go in here, you go in there. You go up. We're down. Uh oh. All the blue <laughs> all the blueprints timed out. Timed out? Yeah. Is there is there a limit on them? Like a time yeah, limit? Yeah, five minutes. I didn't know that. I thought they just were there forever. Nope. Until they got built. Nope. That's what the little purple bar underneath it is. Ah, uh, right. Oh, I, okay. I could have sworn that bar was only there for stuff that got destroyed, not stuff you put down yourself. Uh, I am a little worried about the top right area. I'm going to go put some more turrets down. Alright. I'm about to come up and link it in with the logistics network. You mean the current one we have, or it's going to be its own network? Uh, with the current one. Well, hopefully with the current one, anyway. Well, yeah. I was thinking about how... That's fine. N n okay, I won't say anything. That's fine. Okay, so what is what is being destroyed the most? Over here. Oh, nice. We have full petroleum and empty light, empty heavy. Oh, that's excellent. Just need to keep an eye on the total fuel situation. I think we'll have enough belt storage to get away with it. But if it uh, if it runs out, we're going to lose all of our material processing. We'll have to make the we'll have to make a jump to electric furnaces very shortly. Oh yeah, that's true. Because yeah, oh yeah. Oh, holy crap! Hang on. Uh, it's like producing solid fuel at a pretty much a snail's pace right now. Yep. And let's see, where is it at actually? It's still backed up to about. You can see him on the map. Like right yep. here. Okay. Backed up to there still. So we've got a little bit of time before we need to make a little the bit switch. of time left. Mm -hmm. However, the solid fuel will still power these steam engines though. Yes. Okay, just making sure. Actually, can we make those yet? I think we can. The yeah, electric furnaces. Yeah, I was thinking that if if we're worried about fuel right now, I, just, I, might, I might as well do this next line of uh, copper furnaces with steel with electric furnaces and not steel furnaces. Yep. We just got a bit of a red circuit issue at the moment. Well, a little bit. However, we can make. I should start making those production modules. Or productivity modules. Sorry. I mean, we have plenty of power to spare right now. Yeah, even at night, we have plenty of power. That's because our factory hasn't quite overtaken our um, steam engines yet. Yeah. And these things are actually waiting on copper right now, so i got, I got to fix that right now. Well, it's time for another break, buddy. Yep. We've hit that All right, point. Well, uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, we hit that point in the episode. 20 minutes. Yep. Happens every time. <laughs> Happens every time. Who would have thought? Unpredictable, really, isn't it? It's a wild animal, yep. Alright, well, we'll uh, see you next time with more Factorial Multiplayer.